Look, first on Fox, a new allegation from inside the CIA says the agency allegedly tried to bribe employees to change their opinion about the origins of COVID-19. Letters obtained by Fox News Digital say, quote, a CIA whistleblower told Congress that the agency offered officials on a team investigating COVID-19 origins, quote, significant monetary incentive to change their positions from that it originated out of a leak from the Wuhan lab to unable to determine the origins. Uh, Jack Brewer is CEO of the Brewer Group and a former NFL player, and he joins us now. Jack, so this CIA whistleblower says that six of the seven investigators came to the conclusion that Wuhan originated from the, or COVID originated from the Wuhan lab. After the money was offered, they changed their tune. Just an allegation from a whistleblower, but he is, he or she is described as a multi-decade senior level current agency officer. If this is true, then what? Why is this not bipartisan? I mean, people should be uh, up in arms. You know, when you talk about COVID and the impact that it had, you know, when you look and see the reaction normally of something this serious, think about that. Usually uh, those on the left talk about, you know, how this impacted communities that are black and brown, how this community uh, impacted communities that are underserved. You should be so upset right now, like I am, that we literally um, jeopardize the future of so many of our kids and families families and underserved. Think about what this virus did to our inner city schools. Kids can't read and write right now in America. And to think that we have a CIA that potentially yeah. uh, has been bribed not to be honest and truthful so that we could get to the bottom of this uh, is despicable. If these allegations are true, it really does beg the question, can Americans trust their CIA? And it adds to that whole line of thinking, can we trust our FBI? Any of the people that are supposed to protect us, it is a very concerning story and we're gonna stay on top of it. You come from the world of football. All eyes are on the world of football right now. The Jets searching for a replacement for Aaron Rodgers out for the season with a torn Achilles. Colin Kaepernick's agent has reportedly reached out to the team. I'm going to ask you to double here because we're short on time. No Have you ever seen a team, a fan base, a league so deflated by something like the Aaron Rodgers in in injury? And on a scale of zero to zero, what are Colin Kaepernick's chances of playing for the Jets? No, you, you don't really see this because of the season just started for the Jets and they look so good uh, and, and Aaron Rodgers is just that big of a difference maker in the locker room and on the playing field feel terrible for him um, but Colin Kaepernick has no chance to play in the National Football League. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants this is a publicity stunt because you hadn't heard his name uh, he hadn't been able to pad his pockets uh, by, by stirring up you know mess uh, in our society and so he's trying to rear his ugly head again. Yeah um, and I, I saw I was reading a bunch of comments yesterday from former and current NFL players and they're blaming the turf for this injury, and they're angry with the NFL, saying they're trying to cut corners and save money. And we would both agree, MetLife Stadium, even though it home, is home to our Giants, horrible stadium, horrible field, even though they tried to fix it. Poor no Aaron Rodgers. Well, uh, not poor monetarily, but if you've got to feel bad for him. You have to. And Fourth play of the game. And, and you think about it, you know, the U.S., we got Messi playing here now, and he don't want to play on that turf. He does he's not. the greatest soccer player ever, yeah. so that should tell you something. And they're, yeah. putting, they're putting grass in for the World Cup. Yes, you <laughs> Grass is better than turf. Interesting. All right, Jack Brewer, thank you thank for you, Jack. Great joining to see us. You. Yeah, God bless you. Please. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.